Sometimes, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard, you know? I was talking to my mom the other day and uh, the topic of depression came up considering that uh, this last deployment was an absolute recipe for disaster at every turn when it comes to mental stability, at least for me anyway. Uh, she was really going through it at home as well. My mother is a very strong woman, pretty positive person as well. It's always really hurt and deep down in my core, seeing her cry or just even being upset. Like, <laughs> that woman has been through hell and back more than once. So seeing her in a negative state of mind just really, it, it just breaks something in me. So yeah, we were uh, we were talking about depression, and uh, my mom said, I think I taught you how to wear a mask pretty well. She even stated that that was probably a bad thing too, which to an extent, I would be inclined to agree. Uh, there are many times in my life that if I'm not doing okay mentally, and if somebody needs me, if uh, literally anyone needs me, for anything, I'll drop everything and anything that I'm dealing with to be able to help them, you know? Just pull some non-existent positivity from nowhere, like I have some emotional money printer and I just make that shit go burr all day and all night. <laughs> and when, when doing this, it helps me. It really does. It helps me not dwell on my own issues because the act of being there for someone causes me to feel just slightly better and temporarily forget that I have negative things going on in my own life. I don't know if this is healthy. Probably not. After all, how can you help someone else if you can't even help yourself? My depression was really out of control this year. And I, I think I know why. For the first time in maybe 10 plus years, I, I truly felt alone. I don't know how that happens when you are packed in a sardine can with 5,000 other fucking people for six months straight. But damn. Even then, I somehow managed to experience this unimaginable level of isolation. That I somehow put myself in. It might have been because this was the first deployment that I've had to go through without my wife. Possibly some of my friends are no longer at my command. Or that the few friends I have left here were on different shifts and I wasn't able to get in touch with them. But, yeah. Maybe a combination of all of it. <laughs> And I, I reached out, you know, I tried to get someone to talk to, it just seemed like everyone was too busy or too stressed, whether they were in the Navy or just friends back at home in the States, I, I was desperate to make a connection, have someone to let me vent, and just have someone seem like they care. Speak to anyone just anyone at all but there there was no one no one that could tell me it would all be okay and that I could push through eventually I got a hold of my mom a couple of times and she supported me but those interactions were few and far between For the first time ever, I was left to cope on my own without support. For the first time ever, I had... I had stopped having the strength to wear my mask. At a certain point, I don't think I was really mentally present at all. Halfway through deployment, I was simply on autopilot. I don't really remember anything from then. 
and that's not something I really want to experience again, if I can help it, of course. It got so bad that I actually got very close to suicide for an entire week. I'm not even kidding. It was like every single day I was hitting this wall where that became an issue. One night in particular, I stood on uh, the catwalk, which is like a this little walkway welded onto the outside of the ship hovering over the water, if you don't know, but... It, uh, in the middle of the night, I'd be staring out at this vast, dark ocean, barely made visible by the moonlight, and think to myself, damn, I just have to fall down there and it'll be over. Nobody would see me, nobody would know, and I could just slip away into the cold silence. After a brief, splash-filled struggle, when all is said and done, there'd be just this long, pregnant pause before the universe itself finally acknowledged that my existence had ceased. Then <sighs> a hand touched my shoulder. Some guy who was up there in his flight deck gear, mask and everything on, faceless in the darkness, of course, I couldn't even see their eyes, and their words rang in my ears like a verbal flashbang. <laughs> and, uh, just one simple question. Hey, are you okay, bud? I knew they could see my face with a little bit of light, but I, I felt I felt my face reconstruct itself after that question. I, I, I wonder if he noticed it too sometimes. It was like fingers pressing into clay, that's really how it felt. It just it slowly, unnaturally molded and morphed as I put the the mask on again to answer him. Yeah, man, I'm fine. Just getting some air. <sighs> Fucking liar. He walked me inside and we went our separate ways. I still have no idea who it was, but... It, the next day was just... The one year anniversary of me finding out about my divorce and my failed suicide attempt that followed that year. Someone else jumped that day. <laughs> they were recovering, they were safe. You know, my mom said in that recent conversation that the happiest people in your life are oftentimes the people that struggle the most. I feel that there's some truth to that. You know, I, I don't know, I never wanted my feelings to be a burden on anyone. So typically I hold them in, I hide them. Unfortunately, that would cause me to unload it all on the people closest to me, which to anyone who's been on the receiving end of that, I, uh, I'm sorry. Nowadays, I'm typically doing better. I, I try to, uh, I try to be more positive about myself and those around me, and I try to have more of a stoic way of thinking whenever I'm dealing with stuff. Um, I attempt to catch myself doing these things and try to act differently, like actively do so. Take the mask off as much as possible, you know? Reveal, reveal that version of me, the, the real Keenan. With all this being said, I, I think that there's a balance to it too, you know, every everything in moderation, right? 
um, I mean, putting your own struggles aside for the sake of someone else is pretty admirable. But at the end of the day, you have your own issues to deal with too. You should be able to pick them up and seek help. People should be more willing to help each other through the rough patches. Be supportive, understanding, loving, caring. Because sometimes all we have is each other. And with so many people around us, with the ability to communicate with anyone in the world instantly, it's insane that anyone should ever have to feel truly alone. Not even me.